Hello everybody, this is a very quick video tutorial for students to show you how you can subscribe to all of your teacher's homework and other news using RSS feeds. This is extremely useful because you can have all the important information from your courses delivered right to you instead of visiting every Strudel page, EduBlog, or Google site separately. Plus, you'll be able to see all your homework together, which should help you organize your time a little bit better. Very quickly, RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. Syndication is a synonym for subscription, like a magazine subscription that is delivered to your house every month. Remember magazines? Glossy? Made of paper? This is the same thing, only the information is digital and the delivery happens almost immediately after it's posted. The example I'm going to show you today is using Google Reader, since almost everyone has a Google account. But there are lots of other programs that read RSS, most email programs, about a million add-ons or plugins for your browser, and other sorts of software. There are great ones for smartphones and tablets too. I personally love Flipboard for the iPad. You can find one that works well and looks good for you. Um, they should all work basically the same way. You provide them with the address or the link to the RSS feed, then the program pulls the information directly to you. Let's get started. First, Google Reader can be found at Google backslash reader. When you're logged into your Google account, all of your feeds will be available there. It's very simple stuff after that. Click on subscribe, give them the address, I recommend cutting and pasting, and hitting add. Instantly, you'll be subscribed to that particular feed. Aha, but where do you get the address? That's the tricky part. Most of the time, you can simply find it by clicking on an RSS button, which ought to be fairly visible. In other cases, you may need to perform a little digital magic. Let's use this teacher blog as an example. You certainly could click on the RSS button, and I'll show you what happens when you do. It provides you a preview of what the subscription will look like and offers you a few options of subscribing. If you click on Google and go subscribe now, you have the option of going to your Google homepage or to your Google Reader. Like I said before, I recommend Google Reader. Come in here and you're automatically subscribed. Very simple stuff. But in the case of this particular blog, the teacher has several different courses based on the same blog. Very smartly, she's put those courses into categories. I'll show you a very quick tip on how you can subscribe to only the category that's relevant to you. It's very, very simple. First, just click on the relevant category. I'm going to choose the grade 10 homework blog role because I just want to subscribe to the homework. It pulls up the category showing only the posts that are in that category. And you can see the tag right here. You can also see up here the URL or address reflects category social studies 10 homework so that we know we're in the right spot. All I have to do in EduBlogs at least is type feed backslash at the end of that address. Now you can either copy this whole address including the word feed and then manually go over to Google Reader and subscribe like this. Hopefully, however, if you just punch this address in and hit the enter button, you'll be brought to this preview screen and automatic subscription, which makes it even easier. If your teacher happens to use tags instead of categories, it works precisely the same way. So let me just look down the page for a post that's been tagged uh, with a keyword. Uh, we'll choose this one. We'll choose the book burning tag. If you click on that tag, again, it'll sort the posts and show you only the posts with that tag and same process again you can just come right up to the URL add the word feed on the end backslash and either copy that address or hit enter and hopefully you'll come to the automatic subscription uh, feature. So that's EduBlogs let's show you how it works if your teacher happens to use a Google site. What I've done is I've added a homework calendar to my menu right here I'll show you what's there just by clicking on it very quickly. Now there's not a whole lot there, I just put in one post as a sample. Now one thing to notice is that the 
template for this particular page is called an announcements page, which basically boils down to like a mini blog. Some of these other pages on my site um, are what are called static pages, which means I can add information to them, but the long and the short of it is those don't work with RSS feeds. So your teacher needs to use the specific announcements template in order for this to work. If they have done that, however, you can just go right up to the URL or the address and sort of similar to what we did in EduBlogs, you just have to add something to the end. In this case, we don't add feed, we add the word posts.xml. And if you do that and hit enter, it should bring you to the automatic subscription feature, which is really, really handy and really, really easy. If this doesn't work for some reason, first of all, make sure that you've typed everything in properly. And then you can try just copying the address moving over to Google Reader and just providing the address in this way, same as in EduBlogs. Very, very simple, and now I've subscribed to the Google Site homework page. Last, but certainly not least, at least as far as ISP is concerned, we come to Strudel. Now, from the student side, this should be the easiest one of all. Your teacher needs to use the forum feature in order to post their homework, but if they've done that, you should see a little box on the side of the page with the latest news, hopefully all of that news is homework, and the only thing you have to do is look for the little RSS button right at the very bottom and click on it. Once you do that, with any luck, it'll bring you to, again, this automatic subscription page, which will allow you to click through to Google Reader and add the subscription. Again, if for whatever reason this doesn't seem to work for you, you can also copy the address, manually go to your Google Reader account, and subscribe just by pasting in the address. So if it doesn't push you to that automatic subscription page, don't panic, you can just do it manually. Okay, I've got one last quick tip for you that will help you make the most of Google Reader and make it really, really simple to follow all of your homework in one step. So let's assume that you've added all of your teacher's feeds down here so you have a complete set. So all you have to do is look for this little twisty beside one of them, which will allow you to add that feed to a new folder. I'm going to call this folder Homework, obviously. So I'm going to create the new folder and add the first feed automatically. And once I've done that, I can just take the feed by clicking and dragging, and I can move all of my other feeds into the Homework folder. That way, when I want to get my homework, all I have to do is click on the homework folder and it'll show me all of the feeds inside of that folder. This is also super, super useful if you want to use your RSS feeds for other things, private research, um, just fun reading of some blogs that you follow, and you'll be able to keep your homework separated and refer to it very quickly when you need to.